Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue while launching the game Battlefield 6. You got a crashing issue just after the anti cheat splash screen. So, without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, in the basic step, you need to right click on the game and click on the option manage. From here, click on the option browse local files. Now, you need to find two exe files. First one is B6 event and second one is EA anti cheat. You need to right click on each of the following and choose the option properties. Right in the compatibility tab, check mark the option run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and ok button. Do the same with EA anti cheat. Right click properties, compatibility, run this program as an administrator, hit apply and ok button. After doing this simple step, go ahead and try to launch the game. If this failed to work out, in next step, you need to open up your Windows security. Now right in the window security, click on the option app and browser control. Now here, scroll down and click on the option exploit protection settings. Now under system settings, scroll down and you will find the option of force randomization for images. From the drop down list, make sure it must be turned off. After doing so, again close the window security and try to launch the game. And lastly is, if the game is still crashing, in last method, you need to create a new user account with a local username. For that, right click on start menu, choose option run, type lusr mgr.msc and then hit the enter key. Now right under the users, expand, right click and choose the option new user. Give it any name. Suppose I will give it a name test. Again full name, leave description blank, type any password. After doing so, uncheck this particular option and hit the option create. Now close it. Now here is a test user that you have just created. Now once you create this new user account, right in the start menu, under your account, when you click on this three dot icon, you will find your new user. Go ahead, login use into this new user account and make sure you install the Steam. After installing the Steam, the files will be automatically present right in the Steam and launch the game. The issue is occurred because of a Microsoft account which is creating with EA. So once you create a new user account, the issue of the game crashing after the splash screen will be completely fixed out. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.